the stories are just as important as the garments. Every season, every collection's new and different and that's kind of where I get my energy from. I learnt my trade at St. St. Martins and I graduated in 2013 on the BA menswear course. What first sparked my interest in fashion design was being hands-on with my work and always been drawing and sketching since I've been small, really. It's just been a natural progression. There's a long history of other craftsmen within my family, so my grandfather was a shoemaker, great-grandfather was a coffin maker, my mum's always knitted, so I think there's always been that creative, hands-on approach. I thought it was great that I can design collections and add in my influences as well through the research and the styling and the fabrics. Fashion was just a way in which I could create a window or project my ideas as a designer or as a creative here in London. My design process always starts with the fabric, how it drapes, how it moves. That's the reason why I like going to work with different British mills and developing a fabric with them. For the red clay collection, I developed my own tweed with Lovett Mill. From there, then it moves on to the design process and vintage clothing is a big inspiration of mine. Then it goes into the pattern cutting and the designing. From there, we go into sampling seeing how the garment's put together and ultimately then we try to produce the final garment. The idea of multiculturalism has always been an important part of my work, even from my very first collection, because it's basically me, <laughs> to be honest with you. My mum's from Scotland and my dad's from Jamaica and you know I grew up in Leicester, which is obviously a diverse city. It's important, especially now in 2018, within the climate, what we're in. I personally try to keep my work not too politically driven. I just do me and my message. Music has played an important part of my inspiration through many different forms. My parents, they ran one of the first reggae clubs in Scotland, so there's always been music playing in my household. At London Fashion Week for the last two seasons, I asked some of the best like UK jazz players to wear the collection for my Red Clay show. I collaborated with Shabaka Hutchins, Yusuf Days, Mansell Brown, Alpha Mist, all these amazing musicians and artists. The Red Clay performance was all improvisational, so for them it was quite fun because it was just this space for them to celebrate their musical skills and rather than the show just being all about me. It could also be about all these other individuals and show this is my community, this is the people I respect, these are the creatives I want to collaborate with and why don't you guys take note because they're doing some amazing stuff. The key aspect, what I feel is important with my work is telling an authentic story and using authentic fabrics and collaborating with authentic people. If you don't have those elements to start with, then the collection will not have the impact which you want as a designer or as a creative full stop. As long as you do that in any creative process, then the end result will be something positive and something truthful and something with meaning and purpose. I'm Nicholas Daly and I'm a menswear designer based in London.